we just want to remind you what we've been learning about all week. We have been talking about two really important words, fiction and So before we do today's lesson, I want to see how you're feeling about fiction and nonfiction, okay? Okay. So listen to what I'm going to say, and I want you to repeat after me. I can. I can. Tell the difference. Tell the difference. Between fiction. Between fiction. And nonfiction. And nonfiction. So I can tell the difference between fiction and nonfiction. Think to yourself, how do you feel, how, how good do you feel you are at telling the difference between fiction books and nonfiction? So on your heart, a four means like, I'm so good at this, I can teach the class how to do it. You know, a three means I've got it. But two is, I'm almost there. One is, I need a lot of help, but that's okay, we still do. Andy, we're, we're seeing how we feel about telling the difference between fiction and nonfiction. That's what we're thinking of for our So just put it on your heart, just for me to see. So it's a one, a two, a three, or four? Okay, and the next one, ooh, this is what we're going to be focusing on a lot today. Are you ready? I can. I can. Tell how. Tell how. To. Nonfiction books. Two nonfiction books. On the same topic. On the same topic. Are alike. Are alike. Or different. Or different. Well, today we are going to be reading two books on the same thing. Okay? We read them earlier in the week, so really we're not going to read them today, but I'll just review them with you. We read. Okay. And we also read this article called All About Bats. Today, your job with your partner will be to come here and, what's another word? Contrast the differences. Okay? So that's what you'll be able to do today. 